Good morning, Los Angeles. Finally, USC here, Steve Sarkeesian's cry for help. The fact that it took seven weeks says a lot more about USC than it does about Steve Sarkeesian. Hi, I'm Bill Plasky, Sports Commons, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake-up call, and a sad wake-up call it is indeed. For Sunday afternoon, USC placed football coach Steve Sarkeesian on an indefinite leave of absence because he is unhealthy. We all know what this is about. This all goes back seven weeks to the salute to Troy debacle where Sarkeesian appeared intoxicated according to witnesses, slurred his words, had to be escorted from the stage. He apologized that day and then three days later held a press conference in which he appeared equally unsteady, uncertain, said he wasn't sure he had a drinking problem, said he was going to find out, said he was going to go into rehab, but he was going to coach at the same time. It was all very confusing. It was all very clear at that time with the season upon them that Steve Sarkeesian should be given a leave of absence and not coach this USC football team one game until he figured out what was going on in his personal life. He needed to get healthy before he got back on that field. Unfortunately, USC Athletic Director Pat Hayden said, he okay, Steve has apologized. I probably understand he'll never do this again, and they moved on. They didn't do anything about it. I'm sure they were worried with the football season upon them. They didn't want to lose their head coach right before the start of the season. Maybe they were worried about the image. Maybe they were worried about the scoreboard. What they weren't worried about was the health of Steve Sarkeesian. And now, seven weeks later, it's deteriorated to the point where it's torn open a season. It's torn open these these kids in that locker room. And it's really had a damaging effect on Sarkeesian himself, who now we all pray will get the help he needs. Moving forward, Clay Hilton will be the interim coach. But I want to know who's going to be the next USC Athletic Director. Because it's clear that Pat Hayden, at this point, I'm not sure the USC boosters and fans and family can trust him to run the athletic program with the best interest of USC and its employees and student athletes in mind. The way Pat Hayden enabled Steve Sarkeesian, it's going to be tough for Max Nikias to continue to allow him to involve himself in the football program to even pick the next head football coach. When clearly Pat Hayden made every decision here was not made with the health of his employees in mind, was not made with the well-being of his student athletes in mind, who had to play under a coach who was clearly struggling with personal problems. It was made with, to me, with the scoreboard in mind, and that's just the wrong message USC needs to send. You can read us at LATimes.com and follow me on Twitter at Bill Plasky. Have a great day.